Hello and welcome back to another episode of War Tales. My name is Eiken and today we're continuing our good old franchise where we are doing a couple of Maryville uh, skull crushing exercises in the Vertruz province. I promise you guys uh, that we are uh, going to do some rat hunting and rat hunting it is. A rat infestation near needs to be cleared out. So a couple of uh, things just to catch up. We got a second pony. Uh, Murphy is now called Inappropriate Murphy and Eva Murphy is his ex-wife. Uh, both of them will be the ponies. We needed more carrying capacity so we're good on that. Additionally we have uh, switched Polly uh, from a two-handed style into a nice little reinforced plate armor style plus a buckler uh, and a one hand axe and Miss Grell is laying down Dagon's hammer and this is going to hurt a lot. Uh, on top of that I realized a few things about trading skills. I was wondering, so I was actually trying to level up uh, blacksmithing and apparently whenever you're switching a skill your progress, your knowledge progress for that skill is going to be set to a zero. Um, which means we got to be careful not to switch around. Um, I looked at all of uh, the skills, so here's the deal. Uh, we alternated um, between mining and blacksmithing for her. Blacksmithing is a vital skill, so I will need to keep her in blacksmithing for now and just keep continu uh, continuing to do that. So that's a vital skill since it's a production uh, skill. Mining on the other hand is quote unquote just getting resources. Uh, if we wouldn't be mining we would need to buy it or get it somewhere else. Uh, so just pointing that out. Uh, tinkering, you can see we've never switched Polly out of uh, the skill. Cooking, we've never uh, switched Grell out of the skill and I think we just frankly speaking should continue to do that uh, constitution is a great uh, is a great skill well woodcutting on the other hand so and so one could argue that we might put jim on the mining uh, track maybe after he has gotten his uh, level up um, bard is another option uh, in uh, taverns or alternatively just uh, going to go down the scholar route. My problem with Zoe for instance is she's continuously switching between scholar and being the um, the alchemist and I think by now really thinking about it is once we get um, get the woodcutter up maybe we'll just switch him to scholar and let him continue being the scholar Producing skills are scholar number one, uh, tinkerer number two, cook number three, thief number four, alchemist number five, blacksmith number six. So those six essentially need to be uh, need to be dealt with. Bard maybe as well, which leaves woodcutting and mining off. We could also make one person the miner slash woodcutter. So. Let's uh, go through the roles. We got an Emery here as the blacksmith. We got a tinkerer. We got a cook, right? We got fishing, angler. Angler gives fantastic uh, benefits. Willpower and crit is such a strong uh, combination, but unfortunately angling uh, just really doesn't do much, uh, uh, much else. I want to continue like skilling it so that he's kind of master angler. Uh, and has maxed that one out but unless that is happening I will just leave him in there which means one person will have uh, to draw the short end of the stick and I think this might be Jim with being the woodcutter miner bard so he just takes those uh, three oh well and scholar hmm. Yeah, I don't want to grow the team any further, so I need to figure something out. Anyways, we switched the weapons around. Uh, 
I also traded in some of our fangs and got this nice reinforced leather of the stack, which is a layer of the stack, which is an armor layer. So if we wanted, for instance, uh, one of our full battle plates here could easily get another four armor to strength, or we are going the different route and put it onto a light armor. But currently we don't have a really outstanding armor, so I figured mm, not wanting to do that. Uh, that's pretty much where we currently are. So I've already gotten the extra XP going. Let's hunt down these bandits and then clear out the red infestation. We're going with, uh, in with some solid fighting this time. Oh yeah, and upgraded and got a one extra Valor. So we're now at nine Valor points. Yeah, lots to take in. So we got the poacher here, a couple of marauders, another poacher there. What is their skill? Just straight up shooting, so I don't care that much about it. Namri uh, takes that side. Okay, Paul takes that side, Namri takes uh, that side. All right. Uh... Good, I tell you what, uh, we are I've learned something else. If you right click that, then you can essentially steer it in a way, uh, however way you like it. That saves a lot of movement. So moves here, everybody gets orderly, everybody gets encouragement, moving all the way up to over here. And we're putting deflection in. Good first turn, just buffing for now. Well, that's a nice little hit right there. I would love to see how good that hammer is going to work. Yeah, let's just give it a try. Okay. <laughs> Lieutenant McGrell of the Bulwark. Uh, she gains an aptitude point. Enemies engaged times 30. Well, that's good for her. Holy. That's some decent damage. Um, look, overall, she could have dealt a bit more damage, but I think we're fine. Poison is kicking in. Good, Dilly. Um, I want these guys a bit further away. So we're moving up. Nice little mud. Oh yeah, we changed the bow. I forgot to mention that as well. Now Dilly has a nice little mud bow. All right, Zoe. Shoots once. Uh, 
helps Grell to get disengage and moves all the way to here plus heals Jim and then starts to get poisoned herself. Moving up. Hit, hit. Hit, hit. Charge back. And can we hit? Yeah, we can only hit those two. Okay, cool. Very nice. Hits his friend directly in the back. Polly could move up, would burn. I don't like that. Extra damage for everyone. Pushing this guy back. Heal and cure poison. Unfortunately, we got poison ourselves. Decent damage, not great, but okay damage for a one-hand weapon. New round is starting. And I think this here is a no-brainer. Oh hell yeah. Oh <laughs> so behave. That was good. slightly back and we're done taking a lot of damage here all right six valor moves up Engages in combat. Burns this guy down. And I think we're done. A little bit extra uh, health. Then a solid hit and kill. Protection for everyone and I think we're done. Dilly. It's both of them. This mugshot is fantastic and super, super large. Zoe moves up, fire. 
And that was it. We used Sordor for a Veiler, but that's fine. A little bit of healing. More repair. And we got a nice dagger out of it. Plus two level increases. We could go for even more critical strike, but no, 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 that's not happening. We need either willpower or, in this case, uh, dexterity for straight up damage, base damage increase. Getting some more willpower would be good because he's always on the brink of going down. Maybe some more constitution as well. He's dealing a lot of damage, but we got to be super, super careful. Um, his other, uh, his other uh, part now is the normal specialization. Every time. Now this unit attacks from behind, they apply two poison, which is great. After using his skill, deals five damage to the closest enemy. At the start of each round, apply fragility to the closest enemy. Hmm. Well, this here could be fun. This here is just base damage. And this here would be good if we're um, poisoning. This is against strong uh, units, but it requires positioning. I like the fragility bit as a passive one. Cool. Miss Grell, on the other hand. Has a lot of constitution and now needs a lot of strength as well. Might as well go just with the additional strength, to be honest. Willpower is the same deal. I think I might bite the bullet uh, since we're taking a lot of damage now. Don't want to lose anyone. Maybe we're just getting everyone to uh, 15. And unfortunate for us, we are resting before we're uh, going any further. So she's an experienced scholar now. That is straight up willpower. This here would be dexterity, which means nothing for him. So I think we're going to reskill him to scholar. And Zoe, for now, will be master alchemist and just stay with alchemist. Which means she's working on this one and he is starting his career as a scholar. Oh yeah, I uh, one other update I built that meat drying rack. So apparently we're now getting a lot of um, a lot of meat. That and that and that. There we go. We're losing our experience bonus. We're losing our experience bonus now unless I want to spend more influence. Relationship with close companions are always really good. Speaking about which, I just wanted to show you something. So if you go, because uh, you guys have asked me for that, if you go on to close relationships, 
an appropriate Murphy is in love with uh, Dilly G, and Dilly G is kind of the camp favorite. Um, adores uh, Ender Sanders, um, likes Jim and appropriate Murphy, and is kind of okay with everyone else. Um, generally, a lot of people adore Enders. Some are in love. Apparently between Grell and Zoe there is a bit of a love-hate relationship. Good, but yeah, the mood is good. No one is leaving. Next up. Let's see what we can do about the red infestation. I almost... Well, before we do that... We got a couple more knowledge points. I mentioned I want to stick it fa uh, five. Maybe I'll break that rule and go with six. A couple of uh, things. Um, there's codex management here. And it always tells you just how many of your codes are correct. Um, so over time, that'll that'll take some time to go through all of the possible combinations. Yeah, we can't uh, go with swift progress again because now it costs two hundred. Well, too bad. Anyways, we're going in without the XP bonus. Red infestation. Time to clear out these gnawing, infestating rats. So back here we got fragility, 30% more damage. I'm wondering if we could just, hmm. Dilly and Zoe could, theoretically speaking, destroy one of uh, these outgrowth. Namri and Miss Grill are in the front. Jim is coming from the side. Um, all right, so listen, moving up. This is a big fat hit onto all of them. Very good. So Dilly has done his part. We can still go with the outgrowth uh, there and kill that. Good, that's another uh, solid kill. Oh yeah, we're uh, we're doing a really good job in getting them down. Um, where? Is Jim? Jim? Uh, Jim could not yet move there, no. Jim moves to here and creates fury on top of uh, galvanization, which means if we hit, we're hitting very hard now.
Good, let's buff everyone here with orderly. And whilst we're at it, everybody takes less damage. End of turn. Okay, cool. Um, this fills up all of our reserves and I want to kill one of uh, these things here. The nest has been destroyed. One out of seven. I am wondering whether or not we can take another uh, nest down. We have galvanization, so that itself that in itself should already be more than enough. <laughs> Weakening her. Move up, move up further. Deals moderate damage. That's pretty much about it. Oh boy. More reds incoming. Should be three kills. Almost. get galvanized again this thing is down to eight hit points Tell you what, uh, if uh, we're not fast enough, we could move over there, kill that other nest. So far we're doing okay. Um, how do we get that 
thirdness down. Potentially we are not, that's the problem. Big fat rat. surrounded we don't want that to happen which nicely brings us to this and a little bit of that oh, oh, oh. oh nice Good, we're moving up, we could kill it. I think it's good enough. Let's see what these two extra hosts would have brought us. First of all, the XP is not very good, but we get a lot of plague ridden samples, so that in itself is fine. And Namri, although the XP wasn't great, is getting up there. We have enough willpower. Um, I think we're back to constitution, really. Like a two, two for one uh, type of uh, type of uh, ratio looks good for me. She's a tank, so that's exactly what she's supposed to do. Each time this unit uh, engages, they get deflection. That would be fantastic. That's actually a really good skill. Each time this unit engages, they get repo uh, repost. As long as um, a bonus is active on this unit, uh, their attack supply weakening for one round. No, 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 we're going to go that defensive route. Worked incredibly well so far. And we have successfully exterminated uh, the rats. Which still hasn't brought us any uh, closer to the actual storyline, but at least we have killed them. So I think next steps will be we're exploring a little bit further up here, and then we're uh, we're coming closely to the end of the mission. That's pure cash loot. You have found treasure. Okay, can't climb these mountains, uh, they are too steep. I would absolutely love to have uh, another uh, resort of um, ore, because we are still not capable of creating better armor, which I find highly annoying. Trinket, okay. Is there anything else in here? No. Seems to be a group of cultists. At least they look like cultists. Oh, 
Uh, that looks a bit like we're not uh, going to fool around with it yet. Oh, look at that. The arena. Finally. I was so hoping to find the arena. Holy moly. Okay. You know what? That's the perfect, the absolute best uh, ending spot that uh, we could wish for. It's a great cliffhanger for the next time. So I can explore the arena in the Virtuous Province. Thanks for watching, guys. If you want to be a gladiator, swing that gladiatorial net over the like button and help these videos out a little bit. Thanks for watching and take care. Bye bye.